Hello everyone, now this is Dolphin Data Lab TechLeak support team and this video will teach users how to fix the common firmware failures of the Seagate hard drives. Now this is a DFL DDP data recovery program and it's the latest software. And we can see that with the DFL DDP data recovery software, users can fix not only the new Seagate hard drives but also the old Seagate hard drives. To fix this kind of failures named by the symptoms of the pension hard drive, we can see that users just need to use one click, one simple click, and users can fix the common firmware failures. Anyway, to use this common firmware failures, and users need to make sure users can enter the F3T prompt. Because only after users enter F3T prompt, users can use the commands. For example, we use one simple command, it's Ctrl L, and we can check the hard drive ID information and the head information. And then we go to F3T prompt again, and users can try to check and check execute the commands and to get the output of the result. So this one is very important for users to learn from the output of the COM terminal to see what is happening with this pension hard drive and what kind of correct commands to use to fix the firmware failures. For example, and we go to snog window and we simply click uh, fix anyway this this one is new drive so we would better not use this one because you users need to separate the pcb then to try if this solution works a lot so we can cancel and we power on the drive and we try another. For all the common firmware repair solutions, users will get step-by-step -step instructions after the simple click. Then the program will start the auto repair. Now enter the F3T prompt. Now let's check this. The DOS fix. If users find the DOS arrow is COM terminal, then users just need to click the DOS arrow fix. And within knock window, we can see that the restoration completed. That means the fix has been done. So after we find out the output of the log, the restoration completed, then users can power off and power on, then users can access to a state error. Now let's try another, for example, the smart fix or DOS fix. For the DOS fix, this drive has no DOS failure. Now we try the smart fix. Smart is okay. So no need to fix, so it will output the operation failed. Now we can check others. For example, the ready, then busy. Now complete it. And which solution to use? This depends on the COM terminal messages. After the fix, users need to use power off and power on, then the hard drive is fixed. So it's very easy to use this kind of common firmware repair solutions. Just one click, then users can fix this pension hard drive. So after fix the common firmware failures, users can go to data extraction icon and a new project next, and users can 
set up the disk image project and go to select one target drive and then users can set up this disk imaging project then users can set up head map and then start the image before the image users can configure the image then to make sure all the original data is properly protected then start the image after the image is completed all the lost data will be back then users can go to the target drive and extract the lost data directly from the target drive so this is how we can make best use of these common from repair solutions for the quick fix and then quick data recovery if users want to learn more about how to make best use of the, the DFLDDP data recovery program, users can email to sales at dolphindatalab.com or users can add Dolphin official Skype ID dolphin.data.net. Thank you for watching this video.